Hello there guys, Revmi here and today I'm doing an unboxing of ZTE Blade A1. But before we start unboxing, I want to take a look on the specifications. ZTE Blade A1 is a mid-range device. The correct model number is C880U. But software inside of this phone will say that version is c 88 Zero A, and that is because this phone is only available in China, and the seller from AliExpress changed the software to international, so you have a Play Store and all other Google applications. The ZTE supports a dual SIM, dual standby mode. It can take a two nano SIM cards. And if you want to expand your internal memory, you can put a micro SD card in second SIM tray slot. You can check out uh, detailed specifications on the left. I won't go too much in depth about them because this video should be just unboxing and first feel about the phone. I got this phone from AliExpress. The store name is GoTop Smartphone. There are links in the description so you can check it out. Also keep in mind that AliExpress is having a huge 6th anniversary from March 29, so you can probably grab this phone for a lot better price than I did. Now let's take a look what's inside of the box. The first thing you see is the device itself. Further in the box you get a user manual, but it is in Chinese so it won't be of any help. A wall charger. It is uh, standard pins for Europe and some other countries. A SIM tray opening pin. And finally you get a USB cable for charging and synchronization. This is my first hands-on of this device. It feels really nice in hand. Yes, the build is full plastic, but the quality of the plastic and feel reminds me of iPhone 5C. And as I recall, when I got a iPhone 5C a long time ago, I was skeptical, but when I first time got it in the hand, the feel was amazing and this device feels really solid in the hand. It's sturdy, no crunching at, at all. Yes, it's glossy plastic, but overall that design is quite uh, interesting for the eye. Not really good when you want to clean it, it will leave the fingerprints all over. But other than that, it feels amazing in the hand. Well, it's very solid. I like it. Let's power on device. The screen looks pretty decent. You can see uh, viewing angles. The blacks are more than fine, no bleeding at all. It is a decent unit of the screen. Let's set up the phone quickly and see how it performs in real life. Android performance looks really snappy. There is no lag on the app board or something like that. Really like it how it looks.
the feel of the capacitive touch buttons is totally okay. They got uh, vibration feedback. And what I really like that there is a backlight color. I will show you a sim tray slot. It's made of metal. Uh, front side is of same material like uh, foam body. Let's take a quick look on the camera. It starts decently quick. Let's repeat that. Yep, it's fine. Let's take a picture. You can probably, you, you can probably see, but pictures from the phone looks pretty detailed, really, really fine. It's a 100% crop. I will show you now how the fingerprint scanner performs. I will set up this now and test it. It needs less than a second, around half of a second to activate. It works pretty decently. Sometimes a bit more, but usually uh, less than half a second. In short, this was mine, a quick unboxing and first hands-on of ZT Blade A1. The device really looks and feels promising, especially if you consider that ZT is a well-known brand. I got this device from AliExpress store GoTop smartphone. There are links in the description so you can check it out. This was just a glimpse of my upcoming review for this phone. So I will urge you to check out my channel, RevMe. There is a link in the description also. A full in-depth review will come in upcoming weeks. In the end, I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my channel. The link is in video description. And until next time, see ya.